back. And what I'm going to show you here today is how to put in the controls for the uh, flow spool, the power shuttle control valve linkages. Okay, so basically how I got this set up on this piece of paper here is just how it goes in the engine. That would be the front of the tractor over that way. Okay, so uh, what you've got is this uh, little frame mounts right in behind the power shuttle control valve. Okay, and it's got um, a link here that pivots and that controls the power shuttle control spool. That's the big uh, spool. Okay, back and forth. And uh, outside of that, over here, and it's all still attached to the tractor, you have a cam and whatnot that controls the, the flow spool, which is the, in essence, it acts like the clutch. Uh, it's not a, a true clutch like you, you're used to uh, hearing about. It's pretty much a diverter valve. Okay, so I just made a simple sketch here to explain what happens inside the shuttle clutch control valve. What you have is two spools. You have the small one, which is the flow spool. It acts as an on-off switch for the fluid. If uh, you've got your pedal pressed down, it uh, blocks the fluid from entering the valve. And if you have your foot off the clutch pedal, it allows fluid to enter the valve. Okay? Now, your power shuttle control spool is acts like a shifter spool. Okay? So, uh, if you go up here on the steering column, you see where you've got... Uh, a handle and you can select either forward, neutral, or reverse. That's connected by a linkage to the power shuttle control spool. So depending on whatever position that's in, the fluid that's coming into the valve passes through here, passes the pressure relief valve, and will go to uh, the selected uh, direction. So it'll come down here to, and it'll activate the forward clutch and allow the tractor to move forward. Same in reverse. Beyond that, uh, what happens is whenever the uh, the clutch is depressed, the fluid under pressure gets diverted to the torque converter. Okay, and that's beyond this description, but that's where it goes. So when you press the, the, the clutch pedal down, it doesn't just dump the fluid back to the reservoir. It, it takes it and it routes it to the torque converter. Okay, and then when you let the, the clutch pedal up, it allows fluid to, to flow into the valve past the pressure relief valve and to whatever selected port is open on the power shuttle control spool. Okay, hopefully that helps explain what happens in that valve a little bit better to some of you. Okay, I've just got a few things laid out here that I'm going to put on and it's uh, to do with hooking up the linkages to the shuttle clutch control valve. Now this little green square I've drawn here is roughly meant to represent the shuttle clutch control valve. It just shows you this is the flow spool and this is the power shuttle control spool. And this little bracket will bolt down here just behind it. And it's this pivoting lever here that accepts a pin through this hole and it attaches to the a hole in the end of the, the power shuttle control spool. And that linkage is then uh, connected up to the steering column to the, to the shift lever, okay? So that goes in there. Uh, there's, there's two bolts. You'll see if you ever if you take this out, uh, there's a shorter bolt in the back that's threaded right into the plate, and the longer bolt's in the front, and that goes down through uh, quite a ways before it reaches uh, the threads deeper down in the uh, in the assembly. Okay, and the other little plate I've got here bolts onto the side of the shuttle clutch control valve. There's the two little there's the two little bolts for them for that right there. Those are seven sixteenths. That's why all these wrenches are laying around here. I've got all the wrenches laid out for what you need. Uh, and basically what this does is this mounts over that little uh, pin that sticks out of the side of uh, the end of the control spool. And it uh, goes into this cam. And we'll look at that in greater detail because that's part of the engine. That's, that's tied onto the linkages that are still hooked to the tractor. So we're going to get over there and we'll see that in a minute. This, uh, this little pin and this, this uh, little bearing rides along this uh, groove in the cam and this goes over the end of that and steadies it. Okay, the other thing we have is uh, we have a cam bolt here and you can see if you look at this how you can see on the one side the threaded part of it is way over to the right and we can turn it around so it's positioned to the left. You see that? Okay, you see by turning the bolt how it moves that over. So this is this is an eccentric. It's set up as an eccentric. So what happens is there's a cam 
and this this bolt goes through the hole in the cam and by turning it one way or the other you can move the center of this cam closer or further away from this spool okay and that's how you adjust the linkage on that that's an adjustment for the how, how deep um, the spool travels into the, the valve body and how far it pulls out okay all right so let's get started I think that's the easiest way to go from here is actually show it on the tractor I've also got the sizes set up here for this bolt uh, the nut on the end of it is three quarters and the head on the back is one inch okay so that's the sizes you'll need for that you'll need a 9 16 uh, wrench or socket to put these bolts in that hold this bracket down you'll need half inch wrenches to adjust the stop for the uh, power shuttle control spool and you need a pair of pliers for the cotter pin that holds this pin into this um, linkage and these little bolts here that hold this plate onto the side of the control valve are 7 16 okay so reason I did a little preamble there on the bench to show you that what's going on here is because it's so very hard to see everything in place there's not much room in here for the camera let alone a light or your hands so basically right here is where that little frame goes I'll put that frame in here and then the linkage from the shifter is right here okay that goes up to the steering column okay see that right there that's the linkage and then there's the hole in the uh, shuttle clutch control valve spool right there so all that lever and everything has to hook into right here so it's kind of a tough spot to get your fingers in there okay and then on the outside here there's the control spool okay there's that little pin I explained that plate would bolt that plate bolts on the side here those two little bolts and the guide goes over this pin and here's the cam okay see that and this hole here in the cam goes in here that's where this eccentric uh, goes in so I'm gonna get that all sort of just placed in put in place and then we'll explain about the connections uh, towards the end of the video Bit. Okay. There. So I got that little bracket sitting in there and lined up pretty good. So I'm going to put the bolts into it. And as you remember, the, the short one goes in the back and the longer one goes in the front. Short one in the back. I'm going to put those in a few threads until I make the connection to the spool. Where's that? It's right there. Okay. There it is. There, I'm just going to put a few threads in there so I keep this loose so I, so I can make an adjustment or two on it. Okay. Now, if I look back here, I got that lever. See, it's lined up with the spool. Okay, so I'm just going to put that pin through that hole and put the washer on it and the cotter pin down through it, and that'll secure that lever to the end of the shuttle clutch control spool. And I'll get that done and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I got that hooked up. Now I'm going to move it through. I'm going to move the, move the shift linkage in the cab. So now it's in the forward position. I'm gonna move it back. That's first detent is neutral. That's the reverse. Neutral, forward. Okay, and then when I bring it back, what I did was when I brought it to the reverse position, then what I, I did was I advanced this little stop screw. So just so it just touched that plate sticking out from the shaft. See there? See the thread moving? right in here see this here okay so it's in the reverse position I'll bring that back again 
So that's forward, neutral, reverse. And then I'm just gonna bring that little stop screw so it just touches that plate. Okay, and that's where we're gonna tighten it down. I'm gonna hold two wrenches on there, half inch wrenches, and lock the lock the thread from turning. So that's gonna stop it right there. So that'll prevent the spool from being retracted too far out of the valve. Okay, so the next thing I've done here, I've taken that little plate, and well, the first thing I did actually was I took this cam, and I slid it over onto this little bearing that's on the pin that sticks out of this uh, the flow valve. See that? I just stick it over here. Okay, it's loose loose right now. I, I put this little bracket in here with those two bolts. Get that bolted on. Okay, that's a guide. Now I haven't put the this bolt here. I'm going to put that bolt in. It goes in that hole. It goes between here and that hole. So I'm going to take the nut off of here. I'm going to feed that through. Goes in there. That comes. Have to slide that back a little bit. Okay, so I got the cam put in. I put this eccentric bolt through here and uh, snugged it loosely on the back. And then what I did was I just turned this head and it moves this cam uh, either closer to or farther away from the valve body, okay? It just moves it back and forth a little bit, you know? And uh, so what they're looking for, uh, I read in the book, they're looking for a measurement when the clutch pedal is up. Now, I don't have the spring. The spring was never on here. So I got to get a return spring for this clutch pedal. So when the clutch pedal is up like this, you know, up, up in the retracted position, they're looking for a measurement between the end of this pin and and the center of this closest bolt um, believe it or not that's the, that's the measurement and it's 3.1 inches so it's full three inches and 100 thousandths of an inch okay so I've got that set up on my vernier caliper here so I've got it set up at uh, th full three inches and 100 thou so that's 3.1 inches and if I hold the pedal back if I hold the pedal back, I mean, it's a guess, but it's, I think it's pretty close there. There's not really much of a reference, but I, I am really close to center of bolt to center of pin. So I think that's pretty close for now. All it has to be, I think, is, you know, it just has to be adjusted in such a way that the, that spool moves enough either way. Okay, it doesn't move much, but that's the movement. And that's how it looks on the cam. Okay, and I still have a couple of things to do. I'm looking at maybe changing the pins or, or, or something on here. I've got a lot of uh, pedal free play, if you can see there, on that linkage. It may not matter right now, but someday I'll, I'll deal with that, maybe get that a little tighter. See if I can change this. Maybe change that pin up there. It's got a lot of wear. And of course, I got to get a spring on here, which basically holds the pedal in the up position. Okay. And then when you step on it, you work against the spring and then it pulls it back up. All right. So that's it for now. Got that together. And there's, I'll, I'll operate the shifter to show you that. So the shifter's working. So that would be neutral, reverse, neutral, forward. Okay, then that uh, the clutch pedal. You can see, I don't know. It's sort of funny how they make this cam with such a long slot in it, but yet it doesn't. There's no way it's going to engage all of the slot. It just rolls on that first little bit of it. So it, it almost seems like when they designed this pedal, that they may have taken this from some other uh, tractor that, that they had and just used it and then they you know they incorporated it in the new design as an original part but it, it there would have been no reason to make the slot as long as it is it goes way down here right and that'll never get to there not with not with not no adjustment on this pedal will ever bring that that little cam all the way through here you know 
So anyway, it's just how they did it. And then the other thing that looks really like hokey is how they put this little steel plate on here. This is a factory. You know, put, to put that bolt, a little plate on the side of here with a, with a slider in it. It just seems like it's almost like the invention that someone in the shop came up with to operate it. And then they just kept following it through with the design. Yeah. Oh, well. It's working, as you can see. All right. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll have more videos for you real soon. Bye for now.